Good evening, I'm Annie Brown. I'm in for Paxton Boyd and Erica Bivens tonight. Now we're joining Paxton and Erica down at the Nashville City Music City Bowl ahead of the game tomorrow. Many will be looking for places to grab a bite to eat and perhaps a drink. And that's what we're going to hear about right now. Hey guys. Yeah, Annie, thank you so much. Paxton Boyd alongside Erica Bivens and sports director Jeff Picoro coming to you live from Nashville right outside of Nissan Stadium. Of course, the site of the Music City Bowl tomorrow afternoon. And as you, we get closer to kickoff, I should say, really starting to feel the presence of Big Blue Nation here in Nashville. And we are. And, you know, I'm a little upset that I wasn't invited. As I'm schlepping around over at practice and looking at sweaty football players and interviewing them, these guys are out on the town eating and drinking. So tell them about what you got to eat. This is for the UK <laughs> fans out there because there oh. is so much to see and check mm -hmm. out, especially down on Broadway. And you may have caught us this morning. We were at the Sky Deck. That is at the Assembly cool. Food Hall, a really awesome place with a lot to check out. The Assembly Food Hall is a staple for locals and first timers to Music City. Have you ever been here? Oh, first time in Nashville. What do you think so far? I like it. Pretty city, good, good vibe. It's cool. At 5th and Broadway, it's described as the best of Nashville under one roof, and you can see why. With more than 30 dining and drinking options, this multi-story building features something for taste buds of all kinds. Whether that's a taco, shawarma, a Philly cheesesteak, or perhaps something with a little more kick. The food is delicious. We went to Princess Chicken and it was awesome. The chicken sandwich and the mac and cheese was delicious. Princess Hot Chicken was named the number one hot chicken place here in Nashville. They even have a hot level scale for those who are feeling a bit more daring. So of course, you know, we had to check it out. I got extra hot. What did you get? I got medium because I was warned the hot is extra hot. Great. We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> We got the four jumbo chicken tenders with fries and a fountain drink, just in case. Like, I feel the kick. It's good. But it's not too much. Could have gone hotter. You should have gone with the hot. You want to try extra hot? Sure. With what? Got a little warmer. It's good, though. There is a creamery for those who want to cool things down, not to mention live music. For those looking for a post-meal cocktail, visit one more. That is, if you can find it. The speakeasy is for everybody, but not everyone. The business model that we originally pitched was like an upscale cheers, where you can tell me about your day, where you can unwind with a very high-end cocktail, but actually feel valued as opposed to a, hi, what can I get you type of environment. The cocktail club opened about six months ago. Tell you what, that was a really fun place to go check out, and uh, I'm impressed that you did try the extra hot chicken tender. Okay, you know what? One In bite. my defense, I was told the hot was really hot, so I played it safe. I went with medium. I think I could have handled the hot. So they said mm -hmm. hot was hot. She went extra hot, and you went baby, basically. <laughs> You guys it are was teasing good. because it's just right across the river, right there. Yeah, it is really incredible. If you guys want to check it out, if you're ever in Nashville, if you're driving up tomorrow to come check this out, it is going to be full of UK fans, and there's something for everyone, I tell you. It is awesome. 